The sun has officially reached its solar maximum, a period when its activity peaks, significantly influencing space weather. This phase impacts everything from stunning auroras to the stability of satellite communications. Recently, NASA, NOAA, and the International Solar Cycle Prediction Panel confirmed that Solar Cycle 25 reached this period earlier than expected, potentially extending into 2025. In this video, we'll explore what the solar maximum is, the recent events making headlines, and why this phase is crucial for our planet and space exploration. The solar maximum represents the peak of the sun's 11-year cycle, marked by a surge in solar activity due to the chaotic nature of the sun's magnetic fields. During this phase, the sun's magnetic poles flip, triggering a series of changes that lead to increased sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections, CMEs. This magnetic reversal creates tangled fields that are visible as dark sunspots, with magnetic strengths reaching up to 3,000 Gauss, much stronger than Earth's surface field of about 0.25 to 0.65 Gauss. Sunspots, while cooler and darker, are centers of intense activity. These spots often release solar flares, which emit powerful bursts of radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum, capable of disrupting communication and navigation systems on Earth. Accompanying these flares, CMEs release vast clouds of charged particles from the sun's outer layers. Understanding solar maximum is essential for predicting space weather. Observatories like NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory and the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory provide real-time monitoring using tools like the Helioseismic and Magnetic Imager to create precise maps of the sun's magnetic fields. While these space-based observatories play a crucial role, ground-based facilities like the U.S. National Science Foundation's Daniel Inouye Solar Telescope are also vital. With its 4-meter aperture, this telescope provides the highest resolution images of the sun, capturing details as fine as sunspots larger than Earth. During Solar Cycle 25, one of the most significant events occurred in May 2024, when a series of intense CMEs triggered a G5-class geomagnetic storm, the strongest in two decades. This event brought vivid auroras to latitudes far beyond their usual range, lighting up skies as far south as Florida. These auroras, produced when charged solar particles collide with Earth's atmosphere, were among the most vibrant in centuries, showcasing the power of solar maximum. But the impact of such events extends beyond stunning visuals. Intense solar activity, like the October 3, 2024, X9.0 solar flare, the strongest of solar cycle 25, demonstrates the broader risks. X-class flares can cause radio blackouts, disrupting aviation and maritime communications, and impacting GPS systems. Such disruptions are particularly concerning for industries that rely on real-time data transmission, highlighting the importance of space weather, forecasting for technological stability. This increased solar activity also poses challenges for space exploration. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station, ISS, face heightened radiation risks during intense solar events. They must take refuge in shielded areas to minimize exposure, a concern that extends to upcoming lunar and Mars missions, where extended exposure to space radiation is a reality. Accurate knowledge of solar radiation levels is critical for designing better shielding, ensuring the safety of future crews on long-duration missions. Solar cycles have varied greatly in their intensity and duration. For example, Solar Cycle 19 in the late 1950s had one of the highest recorded sunspot counts, resulting in intense solar storms. In contrast, Solar Cycle 24, which peaked in 2014, was relatively subdued, with fewer sunspots and weaker storms. 
Solar Cycle 25 has had a stronger start compared to its predecessor, though it has yet to match the intensity of earlier cycles like Solar Cycle 19. This variability makes predicting solar activity challenging. Scientists rely on sunspot counts, historical records, and advanced modeling to estimate the cycle's progress. But determining the peak of solar activity often becomes clear only after a decline is observed. Recognizing the need for more detailed observations, NASA launched the Parker Solar Probe in 2018. As the closest spacecraft to the Sun, traveling within 6.9 million kilometers of its surface, it allows scientists to study the solar wind and outer atmosphere in unprecedented detail. This has provided new insights into the dynamics of solar eruptions. Dr. Noor Rawafi noted, It was only when the Parker Solar Probe became a reality that we got very close and personal with the Sun. Complementing this, the European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter provides detailed imagery of the Sun's poles, which is the key to understanding magnetic field reversals. Dr. David Williams highlights, we study the relationship between the sun and the pristine solar wind, and will soon observe the sun's poles in detail. Additionally, equipped with a hard X-ray spectrometer, Solar Orbiter offers unique views of solar activity. As Dr. Miho Janvier explains, it gives us a perspective of solar max from a new vantage point, especially as it moves out of the ecliptic plane in 2025. These missions together deepen our understanding of the Sun's most dynamic periods. Understanding the behavior of the Sun during its solar maximum allows NASA to plan missions more effectively, avoiding periods of intense solar activity to protect astronauts and spacecraft from harmful radiation. As our understanding of the Sun improves through missions like the Parker Solar Probe and Solar Orbiter, we are making space travel safer and more reliable paving the way for humanity's next steps in the solar system. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed diving into the mysteries of the sun with us, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more insights into space and beyond. We're always exploring the cosmos and there's so much more to uncover together. Stay curious and keep looking up to the stars. See you in the next video.